Yo, I don't know who's from New York and who's not, but I'm going to tell you this, man. When you're in New York, you have to be ready to represent no matter who steps up and flexes nuts. <laughs> Even if the nuts have dried up. <laughs> I was walking along 3 a.m. Mind my own business. <laughs> and I come across this mummy jumps out from behind the building. <laughs> Can you tell me where Egypt is? <laughs> I said, fuck the fuck, man. <laughs> Fucking mommy jumping out from behind the wall. Shit! <laughs> <laughs> you the long way from home, King Tut, motherfucker! <laughs> he had a bandage hanging off his ass. I grabbed the shit. <laughs> 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 and his band just flew apart, and his dust flew in the air, and I breathed in that antiquitous motherfucker's existence, like a warrior consumes his enemy. <laughs> <laughs> and then I was like, still no one is around. Let me pick up these bandages as evidence to hide. <laughs> then I went back to the house, and I said, brainstorm, brainstorm. <laughs> What are you gonna do these bandages, Mike? <laughs> Bristol, Bristol! Yeah. Mm. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I went to the kitchen over in the refrigerator, I pulled out strawberry banana fruit punch. <laughs> I put it on the counter. <laughs> I took the bandages, I dipped it in the fruit punch. <laughs> put it out. Got my blow dryer. Blow dry the bandages. <laughs> then got my scissors. <laughs> then I cut the bandages into fruit flavored monster mummy blunt wraps. Then <laughs> 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 I took them down to the local bodega and I made fifteen dollars. <laughs> you know, since that night. I haven't seen an archaeologist <laughs> that might have been looking for that lost mummy. But if I ever meet him, I'm going to say, pal, that mummy went up my nose and got smoked by the five burrows. <laughs>